So, um, <clears throat> in front of you here, I have uh, four different bags, uh, two of one brand and two of another. Uh, the two in the center here are iPower, um, which I got off of Amazon. I'll provide the link below. And the other two are from, I think they call them just grow bags, but if you look on the side, it says Honest Outfitter. Uh, there's a little bit different design uh, in material and stitching. The ones I got off of Amazon, uh, the other two, actually it was a pack of five I got as a gift. Uh, the ones I got off of Amazon do appear to be, they have the stitching on the top, which I think is, uh, in the long run, it'll probably uh, prove that they're they're a little more reliable. But for the price, yeah, you can't beat it. So, and then in the back here in the aviary, I have, oh, and these are all 10 gallons. Is I have the um, uh, 20 gallon ones I've had for two years now. Also purchased off Amazon. They're holding up well. Um, and here we are, another season uh, in, in use. So... Uh, uh, one thing I will note too, uh, if you look at the 20 gallons, they were pretty much full when I originally filled. So the soil does compact over time as something to consider. I could have re, um, you know, refreshed the soil on them. Uh, I just went ahead and started planting stuff in them. Uh, so it is what it is. We'll see how it works out for me, uh, you know, to each his own. So. Let's just quickly talk about some of the advantages so we can wrap this up. Um, so the, the biggest advantage, I believe, is the fact that I put all kinds of different mixes of soils in there. I wouldn't put just straight dirt in there um, because of the weight. Uh, but I put the, the garden mixes, the potting mixes, the potting soil, um, you know, uh, all of them in between. I haven't really had any... Uh, negative results from that uh, for one because the fabric is breathable i think it allows it keeps them from compacting too much and it allows the soil still to breathe which um of course can have some benefits to the roots it, additionally it pr also helps prevent you from over watering plants in there and um uh you know which is a, a huge advantage now with that they obviously can dry out a little quicker too than maybe some of the other style containers so, you know, I, I've usually have mine set up on a <clears throat> drip style irrigation system here in the aviary garden uh, and the uh, greenhouse setup. So either way, I've had a good success. The other advantage, of course, of them being portable, meaning even these 10 gallon ones here and the 20 gallon ones, I can move them around. 20 gallon ones when they're wet, they're, you know, they're, they're hefty. So I, I gotta understand that some people might have a challenge moving them around easily. Uh, but if you grab another person, they got two handles, one on each, and, you know, you, you can move them. So uh, for those that were, uh, you know, live somewhere where they're maybe growing off of a patio or uh, some, some sort of setup like that where they want to move them, uh, certain plants around to benefit from, you know, certain hours of sunlight or, or moving them into areas in the evening to keep pests from getting at them like deer is one of my biggest issues here. Uh, I think that's a huge advantage. Um, and also the last advantage, which is a challenge that I, uh, uh, have here is poor soil, soil quality at your location. So planting in the ground sometimes <clears throat> is difficult and expensive if you want to amend that soil well enough to grow in it. So this has been kind of our interim until we get some raised beds built in our backyard. Um, and it's worked great for us. It, uh, helps us create, you know, or produce food here. Uh, for minimal costs. So there's my advantage. They're cheap. Uh, they're easy to move uh, we, we, If you if you if you're renting a place, here's another advantage you throw at them You can dump the soil out or give the soil to somebody Fold the bags up put them in a box and move them to your next location Or if you're just moving down the street, maybe you know You throw them in the back of a pickup and drive them down there, but whatever there's all kinds of advantages to these grow bags I highly encourage you to check them out uh, I'll provide the links for the ones that I've purchased off Amazon down below. Thanks for watching again. This is Nomad76. Have a great day.